Hey Freebs Nation, Jordan Page with FunCheaperFree.com here. And today, we're organizing the closet. Ooh, it's bad. Oh, it's so bad. Yeah, it is. Okay, you guys, this could be a very, very, very bad idea because look, look, we all know I am like queen of productivity and a productivity ninja, right? But that doesn't mean that I'm not human. I just have to warn you, my closet has gotten out of control, completely out of control and it's time to tackle it. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me and show you that it's possible to clean up and organize an extremely messy space quicker than you might think, and I'll share my tips along the way. But I guess that means first I need to show you the closet. Are you guys ready for this? Okay, here we go. I told you it was bad, it's so bad. Okay, let me explain. First of all, my closet became the quick dumping ground for suitcases and clothes after some vacations. But most importantly, what happened was I started pulling everything out of my closet from the winter and fall and making piles and sorting out because this bin of summer clothes, I was going to switch over. I do switch my closet about every six months and switch it for seasons and I'll explain about that later. But I got partway through my project and stopped and I've just been closing the closet door ever since. And because because this huge bin is blocking my way and it's so heavy and I can't get by, then it's created lots of other piles along the way. You guys, it's so bad. I know. So here's what we're gonna do. Not all is lost. Oh no, it's not. I've got a little bit of time while my babies nap, so I'm just gonna tackle as much as I can right now and then over the next few days tackle a little bit more. Remember, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. It's impossible for me to find a full couple of hours to get this done in one shot. So a little bite here, a little bite there, and it'll be done in no time. Uh, I gotta stop chit chatting though if I really wanna make this happen, so let's do it. First step is I've gotta clear some space out of here. I can hardly walk in my closet, so I'm just going to start clearing the floor and taking things out so that I have kind of a clean slate to work with. Okay, I moved the bulk of everything out of my closet except for one pile of clothes that I'll get to in a second. But one thing you need to have as you're organizing any space, but especially closet, are one thing. Several things are a garbage bag for garbage, a garbage bag for donate items, giveaway items, and then a basket for things that belong somewhere else in the house. I've got some garbage and a few random things on my floor that I'm going to organize into these three things real quick and then we'll move to the next step. Okay, when it comes to cleaning or organizing a space, especially a space as messy as this one, you have to think of it like, have you seen that old experiment where there's a like a pile of big rocks, a pile of small stones, a pile of sand, and a pitcher of water, and there's a glass vase, and they say to fill it all in the glass vase? It's physically impossible unless you start with the biggest rocks, and then fill with the pebbles, and then the sand, and then the water last. Anytime you go out of order, it just overspills and doesn't work. So you have to think of your cleaning and organizing the same way. For me, I'm starting with the big rocks right now and doing those and then getting more and more granular and fine as I go on. So the first step was clearing the space out so I can see what I have, have space for piles and organization. Now, second step is out with the old, in with the new. I have a video that shows how I organize my closet and a ton of closet organization tips and tricks. I will link that below, be sure to check that out. I'm not gonna hit on those a ton here, but I will say that I love switching out my closet, like I said, about every six months months. Gotta sneeze. Hold on. Whoa. I do that for a number of reasons. For one, by taking all of my fall and winter clothes and putting them away for a time, bringing out my spring summer clothes, I'm constantly getting a new wardrobe. It makes me shop way less because it feels new and fresh every time I pull something out. Also, it just creates space in the closet. I pull out things that I won't wear for a while to make space for the things that are current in terms of temperature and season.
or something, instead of putting it back on the rack like this, I will actually hang it up backwards. I do that on purpose so that I'm constantly cycling through what I have and not always wearing the same thing every time. But then also, in six months when it comes time to switch around my closet, I just look at all of those hangers that have not been turned backwards and a lot of them I donate or get rid of because it's obviously something I haven't worn in a long time. And rather than just letting it clutter up my space, get rid of it. So that's partially what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna go through my closet, pull out the stuff that is not in season right now. I'm going to continue adding it to the big pile on the floor and along the way, I'm going to be adding anything that I don't need anymore to this donate bag. So I've got this big old box. I think I just need to move it into my closet a little bit let's see <sighs> okay a little heavy a little bit maybe i'll just leave it right here it's fine right here guys it's fine another tip is be sure to be listening to audiobooks or podcasts or YouTube videos, eh? Or call someone, do something while you're cleaning so that you can be multitasking while doing this mundane, mindless task. I'm going to be listening to a book on Audible. I believe I do have a code for a free book. I will leave that below. Find something to keep your mind busy. I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about what the heck this section is. In case you don't know, in case you're new and haven't been around, I'm obsessed with Sparkle. Like, obsessed. And anytime I speak in public or do a live show, you better believe I will be in solid sequins. So let's just say that my sequin repertoire is super good. <laughs> I have a little section of my closet for formal dresses, for business award banquets, or holiday parties or whatever, but seeing as how this is the summer, and seeing as how we're in the middle of COVID, and there are no in-person events, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to tuck these away for a couple of months at least, which again, creates space in my closet, but also then when I come back in a few months with fresh eyes, then I can decide if it's something I wanna keep and put back in my closet or not. Let's hope that COVID settles down in a few months and I have an excuse to wear something so pretty. <sighs> Little side note about sequins, they snag, and they snag bad. To store these, I will actually turn them inside out so that the sequins do not catch and snag on everything else in my seasonal box. So. have seen my closet organization video you know that I love to organize my closet by color and sleeve length I'm hanging my yellow dress after red but before blue red orange yellow green blue purple and then I have black gray brown and white by doing them by color it really helps me to put outfits together and mix and match so much easier than if they're just scattered all over and you really never know what you're looking for Good morning. <laughs> I happened to wake up seven minutes before my alarm, so I'm actually going to take seven quick minutes and just work on this and get a few things done before my alarm goes off. I really need some caffeine or something. Still waking up. So now my spring and summer and early fall clothes are put away and it feels really good because I have a huge bag of giveaway stuff and I even have some more that I've set aside that are too bulky like shoes and stuff. So what I'm going to do now is fold and put my winter stuff in here so I can get this bin out of here.
Okay, I finished. Now I have my winter clothes in here, a huge giveaway bag. Now I just need to get these out of here and then I can focus on the stuff that I had dragged out of my closet in the first place and then I'm done with the big stuff. First gotta get these out of here. A lot of giveaway stuff, which is good. Oh my gosh, that's really heavy. Okay, I'll be back, I'll be back, hold on. Woo, lots of giveaway stuff. <laughs> Getting my workout in. It's fine. It's all fine. Okay, I only have about 15 minutes before I need to run to an appointment. Now I need to go through all of these piles and boxes and bags that I had pulled out at the very beginning and then probably finish it off tomorrow. I'm so close. And I'm done! Yay! I can do cartwheels in here! Whoa! Yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Feel the clean! Oh yeah! Here's the thing, is my closet perfect? No. Do I actually still have quite a bit to do? Yes. The rocks are done. I got the biggest stuff done, which was cleaning up, putting stuff away, getting rid of things, and rotating out my clothes. So then next for pebbles would be going through all the other, like the drawers and the other spaces in my closet, especially in this area, because I have some clothes that like fell behind my drawers so they won't close all the way. And then I have a bunch of stuff down here that I need to go through and get rid of. So those are the pebbles. And then when I have time for the sand and the water, then I will fine tooth comb, roll all my shirts, make them nice in my drawer, and make sure my closet is one incredibly organized space. But in the meantime, this is so much better. It's totally livable, and it just feels so good. Hopefully seeing me clean my closet motivates you to tackle yours, or a drawer, or a car, or a space that's been driving you nuts. And remember, I only had 10 minutes here, 15 minutes here, 20 minutes here. I did not tackle this all at once, and you don't have to either. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. If you want a lot more organizing, cleaning, productivity tips like this, I recommend checking out my productivitybootcamp.com program, and you can use the code YouTube for 10% off. I also have a ton of free content on my blog. I will link all that below. I gotta let you guys go, because I still have about five minutes, and these drawers aren't going to organize themselves. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next next week. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments, okay? If you don't mind, I'm just gonna make some snow angels here on my clean floor. See you next time. Bye. Oh, there's so much space in here. I could just like stay here all day. Oh, it's so nice.